No, I am. What? I am not alive. I need my glasses. Oh, good lord. Hang on, guys. Ah. All right. Let's see if we can keep doing this. Hopefully. All right. My friends, how are ya? I'm going to wait a couple seconds to see if anybody shows up. Oh, we have two viewers. I'm sorry this is a very bad perspective for you, my friends, to see today. Um, today is kind of a... Oh, hey! Who do we got here? I don't have my eyes on. Well, at least we have one, so I'll say hi. Today is sort of a... Yes, this is a different perspective of coming into... Um, where I do my demos and it's a disaster. I will be forward, frontward, whatever. Hey guys, hey Liz. <laughs> yeah, you caught me live. I don't know how good it's gonna be. Anyways, the purpose of this video, um, you guys have obviously seen my video uh, with regards to the staining um, or the testing of the bath bomb due to someone saying that my bomb stained. Hang on, let me get rid of this candy. It's a lifesaver. It's not saving me. Anyways, so yes, I suggested um, making a paste. I wonder if I can put this here without killing everybody. Okay, so I suggested... Um, you can stay good. I suggested making a paste um, like what I always do with uh, vinegar and cream of tartar. So this is what it kind of looks like. It reminds me of that, um, I don't know if you guys have had your kids, they do that oobleck thing at school with the, with the cornstarch and water and it's like solid and thick or solid and liquid, whatever. So it's basically kind of reminds me of that. But this is it. And yes, if you make it too thin, it's not a huge deal. Can you guys even see that? Anyways, it's just a white paste, okay? And then I'm gonna show you my tub. Um, feel free to ask questions, guys. I would actually like that. Um, this tub right now is just basically, uh, dirty, I would say, um, soap scum, um, you know, the, the average ugh, of bathtubs, especially from teenage boys. <laughs> oh, there's gross shampoo stuck in my drain. So... The reason being is, anyways, yes, the staining issue, okay? This tub right here, let me see, I wish I could see you guys talking. Anyways, this tub right here, let me flip it around to show you, okay? And yeah, excuse the mess, guys. Okay, so this tub, let's just have a little yonder, okay? This is the whole, um, sort of, you know, that's the tile color, icky icky. There's my wall, I don't know if you guys can see the reflection of all this Soap scum stained. Yeah, you can see it. My son just had a shower, so it's freshly wet. Yeah, you got the mold in the corner. How much vinegar to cream of tartar? I just did it. Um, you know, I think I started with like four or five tablespoons of cream of tartar, and then I just added the vinegar... Um, you know, little blue bees at a time to mix it to the paste I wanted. You want it, like, kind of thick enough so that it'll stay on the sponge and then you can spread it. So it's like vim. You can make it thinner, too, if you guys want to put it in a squeeze bottle. And you could squeeze it out easy, I'm sure. But anyways, okay, back to the grossness of my tub. Here we go. Standard, you know, from your shampoo bottles, right? Soap bar sitting. This is not... I'm able to see it, but this is like your dirt from my jokey. Then you have obviously dust that gets stuck to wet people's hair, shampoo, um, whatever. You know they're colored. Then they are FDA colors, so same sort of deal. So when you here is I wanted to show you guys just how well cream of tartar works. I've heard these complainings of stains which I'm still having a hard time with because you guys know how much I test my bombs. I mean you guys know how rigorous I am. Okay so 
I'm still having a hard time. But the biggest thing I'm having a hard time with is you're saying that cream of tartar is banned. Never in my life have I ever heard that. Ever. So, anyways, let me just get to show you this. Hey, beautiful. Yeah. You won't say that if you see my face. Okay, so anyways, there's just a little bit of water. By the way, my tub drain takes forever to drain. That is another reason I was saying that if anybody's tub is going to stain, it's mine. Because it can tend to stain if you leave your water in for like hours on end. Oh, never mind. Oh, Tammy. <laughs> okay, so this is just, let me just show you what I do. Um, there's different ways to do it. I mean, I have dipped my sponge in and done it that way, whatever, whatever. So I'm just going to. I mean, I could get gooby, but, like, this is really hard with one hand at the moment, okay? So I'm just going to kind of show you what I do, and then we'll get to the really good parts, I guess. What do I do with this now? Oh, shit. I'll just leave it in there. Sorry, guys. Okay, so any, really, all I do, there is my mixture, and if I'm washing the tub, let's start down here. I would just literally smear it on. I don't even know if you guys can see this so much right now. And I'm going to, here, I'm going to just bring this right so it's easier for me. And I usually just, like I said, I take my plunge, doobie-doo, rotate. Sorry, I'm turning my device. Jesus. Okay, sorry, God. So I do that, and then, like I said, you're just, you're putting it on the gooby spots. So at this point right now, I'm not even scrubbing, okay? And by the way, if you guys can really see this now, maybe you can't. See this stuff here? My pup, my tub has been spray painted. See that? So my paint anywhere in someone's tub sure as hell but it was there. But besides that, we're not on that topic right now. So here's the goop. And like I said, it depends on how much you want to put on your tub, how much you're going to make and all that stuff. So you could smear it on and leave it on like, a, like that. See, like here too. Sorry, we're foggy. Don't fog. Here we go. So you just smear it on where you want. Here we got, what is it, like the hard water stains and all that crap. So I'll just put it on that and kind of leave it for a bit. Same with mold. You just kind of put it around. This one is always bad for me. And by that, you don't have to coat it on like super thick. Like people think, oh my God, you're going to lose a lot of, or use a lot of this stuff. You don't, okay? If it's a really bad spot, sure, you can go and put more on it or you can come back in, Okay. Where should I pick a mold spot for you? You guys want me to pick that corner? I'm just going to put it in there. Put it down there. Hopefully I get it all. Like I said, guys, I don't have my eyes on. I'm sorry if anybody is bored any time. Feel free to leave. It's okay. It's not a huge deal. This is just a, sort of one of those demos I just felt I had to do at the moment. Okay, so we're going over to the blue. Let me just get these sticks out of here. Okay, hard water, yep, same here, dear. Well, actually, I don't know if it's as hard here as it used to be, because we're on town now, but it's still, I've got calcium and lime deposits all the time. So here we have some more mold. Let's just put a little bit in. So I'm going to put some here, and now I'm going to basically, I usually try to go to, like, the really dirty spots like this first, and just kind of put the stuff on it, but then you notice everybody gets this, or, well, Normal people, unless of course you live in freaking house and home magazines or whatever, you get that line. I don't know how good my eye thing is. It goes up about right there, and everybody gets that line. Stop, I'm focusing. You get that line up, okay? The water scum line from your water sitting. So, around my tub right now, I'll just show you, okay? This is what we're gonna do, and I wish I could have two hands at the moment. Don't ask Shane to help. He he he's done today, so it's his first, first but I just spread around spread it around. You guys can see that I'm not even scrubbing there yet. Let's see. Okay, so let me put you well, I can't put you there because you're gonna be gooby here. Let me just do a couple more spots, guys. I am so if I'm bothering or this is what you call a boring video, which I'm sure it is. So, I'm just going to go over where all the 
spots. And by the way, if your face like this starts to feel too, like, see how it's going on, like, thick and pasty, you can get your sponge a bit wet. It's totally fine. Just use it like you're doing it. See how my paste is getting very, very thick, like... I don't know what you want to call it, but it's thick. It's like oobleck, for God's sake. See, I can almost, like, pick it up and gooby it. Anyways, just put it on your tub. I don't want to rush here too much, so if you guys want to talk amongst yourselves or whatever it is you'd like to do, I just want to do this so that I can show you because... This is part of the other thing where someone said, please make a bath bomb, a black bath bomb, and then demo it, and then show me it not staining or cleaning the tub or whatever. So here, I'm doing the tub first so we can start with a clean tub. Plus, my tub needs to be cleaned so bad. Oh, neighbors are renovating. Yippee-doo. Okay, I think I made a, a little bit of... Do I have enough paste? Side guys, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Let's see. My fingers are crossed, guys. My fingers are crossed. Okay, now I'm gonna put you guys right here just for. And yes, I will turn it around. Please don't shut off on me, you stupid tablet. Okay. I'm always afraid I'm gonna touch buttons. Okay. You're right there for a sec because. I have to get into some spots that I couldn't get with two hands, and did I just lean in it? <laughs> no doubt. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Guys, please talk among yourselves. But this is where I wish I had some sort of speaker so that you guys could actually say, Hey, Danny, I'm asking you something, damn it. <laughs> okay, I think this is almost completely coated. I think that was, I started out with like, I think it was four or five tablespoons of cream of tartar, something like that. Anyways, I like this because it's not abrasive. And I, someone mentioned to me about that whole fiberglass um, tub thing, and you definitely do not want anything abrasive. I know, like, definitely like, no comet or anything that would uh, scratch your fiberglass tub because one thing is you wouldn't actually see the scratches in a fiberglass tub but you would be opening yourself to you know very slight scratches um that will freaking definitely hold any kind of colorant or any kind of anything not to mention soap scum which you guys won't really even see and yeah, eventually it just ends up into like a dull kind of kind of dull finish. But anyways, like I said too guys, please remember that this bathtub is over 40 years old. And uh that's bad. <laughs> really bad. So let me switch you around real quick. I just want to show you as you guys hear me talking here, what I was doing. I was just scrubbing. And actually not scrubbing that hard. Let's see if it's gonna flip for me. Nope, it doesn't like my fingers. Okay, let's try again. Did it do it? Are we just against the wall? What's happening, dude? Let's see. Oh, yep, she flipped. Okay, my poor camera's gonna get dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay. So, you guys can see that's where the tablet was sitting. And I was just basically... Let's see what happens after I rinse this, but... No. I don't know how well you can see, but I can already tell you the mold. Remember the mold? Do you remember the mold that was around here? Okay. Do you guys remember the mold corner? I haven't even scrubbed this corner or anything yet. So let's see. Okay, that's wiping it off. This was really bad down here, wasn't it? This is totally everything without rinsing. So it's looking better. This little guy is covered in water. Um, is it calcium? Okay. So, and then like I said, the dirty spots. This is where my tub was painted, which is gonna be where it's, you know, painted and shitty. Like I said, 
can tell the difference. Underneath, right here, and I'm sorry if I fog you guys up because I am sweating. This part right here is the old bathtub, okay? And then this is the part that was painted over. So underneath the bathtub part really stains. If I'm going to use a dye that's going to stain, that's what gets stained. And I'm not kidding. So I haven't really had any issues with that yet. Mostly, the worst thing is, is soap scum. But, alright, so we're going to go over here, give a few wipes. You guys do remember how disgusting this tub is, right? All right, let me just, and don't forget my water doesn't come out, okay? Or like drain fast. So, let's see. Moldy corner, right? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I could do a little bit more probably on the caulking part, but in the corner, but the wall, and they're down, yay. Okay, turn the water off. I don't wanna steam anybody up. Okay, let's see this part. This is my chrome. Some of this is actually peeled off, so I can't go by all of it, but let's just see. Can you guys even see? I'm sorry, I'm flobbing around like crazy. So yes, just remember, some of this, some of this chrome is peeled off. So let's just see. It's looking better anyways as far as I'm concerned. So I'll have to rinse it again and do the, you know, towel. Let's see this one. My old 40 plus bathtub, eh? It's like I get so sick of people saying, don't you know you're supposed to clean your tub? How disgusting. Well, if you guys have seen this freaking tub, disgusting. I get it. But at least it's clean. Never ever said I lived in freaking house and home magazine. So anybody to assume so can kiss my bum. <laughs> I'm real life. Okay, so this side, I could have probably done a bit more. But like I said, you guys can tell by the old tub. I'm waiting for you guys there. The caulking part, see how much cleaner that caulking got? And like you guys saw, I'm not sitting here scrubbing my arse off. I can't, I can't do it. My arms are bad. I have a bad back, bad neck. I couldn't sit here and scrub for hours. From that shampoo bottle was. <laughs> and it got most of the caulking, like most of the caulking mold stuff there, okay? I'm not showing you the bottom yet. I'll wait till we get there. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get off my burst marks so far so good anyways this was the dirty end you guys see that wicked dirty end watch let's just watch shall we yeah you might need a little bit of elbow grease but i'm not bruce did i say grease i did i'm not pushing hard I need to add some water in here again. Clean up my sponge. Dirty corner. Now I could have probably put some more on the caulking, but it does still work. Mostly it was the tub I was worrying about at first. You can come back and do the caulking, or you can even stick a toothbrush in the in the. You can stick a toothbrush in that mixture, and uh, it would have come off too. Like you see, I got. Sorry for the fog, guys. That is definitely me. Is it fogging still? Yep. Yeah, get a cloth. Hang on. Where's my? There she be. Better? I'm gonna wipe my face off too. I'm sweating like crazy. So yeah, like I said here, this bit of um, mold, if I had, you know, extra scrubbed or, um, sorry, toothbrushed it, it would have come off, but I wasn't really concentrating on that part. So I was just concentrating on my old 40 plus bathtub.
which I'm sure you guys saw how freaking dirty it was. I know you did. I showed you. I can't believe I let you guys dirty bathroom. But hey, this is where you guys were sitting. See how she goes? Like I said, I wasn't worrying about too much on this go. It was more just to show you guys that uh, <laughs> the bathtub can be cleaned. Paint peeling and all. Oh yeah, we didn't do this one. I didn't show you. That one's got shampoo stuck on it. Or soap or something. Anyway. Okay. Like I said, this is the most worst part of my tub right now. Is... Oh, I lost a lot of people, guys. Sorry. Anyways, I wasn't trying to bore you guys. I was just trying to show you the real facts of life here as to what happens. And the staining issue. Also, just how well this staining mixture or homemade staining paste works. Boring. Um, yeah. That's how she works. So... I don't want to hear any any more complaining about any kind of staining and that they couldn't get it off their tub. <laughs> because it would work. Fiberglass, like I said, be careful. Do not use abrasive. But here you go. After it's dried. Shall we try this one to show you? You guys saw it. You saw how yucky gross it was. It's not perfect. I could have got back in here and cleaned a bit more at the bottom, but like I said, one-handing it, just trying to show you guys, but there you go. Look. It's a lot better. Let me stand up. Oh, can. Okay. So, I gotta let the water drain out, obviously. But, yeah, all you can see is, like I said, all the painting. You can see the painting spill or peel spots and everything else, so... Soda and peroxide, is that what you said? Yeah, but baking soda can be, um, believe it or not, it can be abrasive. So, I know we used to do soda and vinegar um, for, like, sinks. And that's actually the best thing to do if you guys have a drain clog. If you don't want to use lye, um, you can stick baking soda down your drain and then blast it with vinegar. And it'll act sort of ways, guys. I appreciate you guys watching through this boring video. Um, I think that's my son screaming. Let me just turn this around. I'll turn it around. Let's see how we can do this. Turn around. Oh, okay. Now that I'm sweating to death. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this, you know, very sad dragging on. Um, I'm going to come up and do another video. Uh, making video as soon as I get things straightened around the basement and get my body up to snuff here. But, yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Um, see if we can get a better view. Over here it looks pretty good. Don't look at my face. <laughs> Over here, now you can see it better. That's the tub. And I know it's not a great pretty sight and everything is kind of gross, but hey, that's life. So, there it is. I just want to show you. If you guys have questions anything like that, can you guys just, you know, leave a comment down below. It works great. You don't have to use your elbows too hard. It's great for people who have bone injuries or muscles or arthritis or all that. Trust me, I know. I have to do it all the time. Hence the reason why I don't do my tub very often. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Issue. See how there's no... But my tub rinses very slow. So, just add more. Okay, I forgot to wash this side, but that's okay. We're better now. Okay. So, I'm turning that off just to show you. So, now we get a fuzz. That's as clean as this puppy's gonna get. Anything you guys see in any of my videos, for example, if you're looking at this, I don't know if you can see it, that's a paint. Peeled off. Right here, same deal. Somebody at some point used something very abrasive and it's very, very like, um, 
texturized unless they tried to spray a texture on the tub i'm not quite sure but all the paint is peeling here too so if you guys see anything like that in my video that's what it is same with around here this stupid thing somebody decided to paint it <laughs> you don't do that my whole tub they basically just friggin spray painted it with a can but anyway guys i'm gonna go this has been long enough for you guys to watch me clean my tub <laughs> it was supposed to be somewhat educational but at least you know I don't know, I hope it helps somebody, and I put some people at ease when it comes to staining and all that stuff, all right? Uh, I'm going to go outside and try to cool off because it's got to be over a season here, and I need to go cool off. So leave the comments, messages, whatever, you like. and if you want to talk to me privately, by all means, please send me a message, guys, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Ciao!